hello everyone welcome back to this youtube channel today we're going to go step by step on a newborn's first bat my mom is visiting canada for omugwa this is her first grandchild and she's going step by step on how to bait him um just in case you know <laughs> we have another newborn in you know in a few years time and she's not able to come or whatever the reason is she wanted to make a video and you know we can follow step by step now um we're nigerians so we're gonna do it my mom has had nine children so she's done this over and over again and she's gonna do step by step on how she does it So my mom has just given a summary of the spots that we are targeting for newborns for boys. She's advising that you lift up the scrotum and you wash underneath and besides for a girl, open up the lips of the labia and make sure you're washing properly. Um, so you see that we're using the African black soap here and you see that the water is a bit black. Like I said in the beginning, this mix is specifically made for newborns. So it's a lot much milder than the regular African black soap. Now this black soap works like magic. Every time I use it, my son has a rash and I use it once or twice everything disappears i've tried using it for myself as well i just don't like the stain that it leaves on my bathtub but i do mix it with my regular soap and it, it works really good so my mom starts with using very warm water this um is july so we're not really concerned about how cold it is but she insists that the water has to be warm very warm bearable i mean you don't want to um, scar the baby's skin but you want babies are very fragile you want to keep them warm so she starts by rinsing his bum um so that's the first step she rinses his bum if he has pulled she will make sure she washed that part first with soap and water before she continues with the rest part of the body the last part of the body you want to wash is the head as you can see her do right now because she if you wash the head in the beginning or sometime early during the baths babies are prone to catching cold and they can do so through their heads also there is a frontal um space in the top of their head that is not properly closed yet so you want to be careful not to leave that place cold so she does that as the last step in the baby's bath process she, she directs that we um pay attention to the armpits underneath their neck especially for chubby babies always make sure you're paying attention to underneath the neck um or the neck area behind the ears in the earlobe um the bum the armpits all the creases and all the folds and then make sure you dry the baby immediately once we're done doing that we cover baby in extra virgin olive oil um sometimes we mix that with coconut oil just make sure to put enough oil on baby's skin my mom is not using shea butter on him yet i think we started using that when he became a lot older um so for now we're going to put a lot of oil and moisture back on baby's skin after a bath some people or health professionals say not to bathe baby regularly but in african households we bathe baby every day as soon as they are born and it's very important that we take care of their hair as well i had a mom once who she is a white woman and her baby's mixed race so her baby's hair was not well taken care of and she said she had gotten some advice that we shouldn't comb baby's hair until they turn two but by this time her baby's hair had become so matted so this is one step i really want to point out in this video make sure you're combing baby's hair right from when they are born they have newborn baby comb sets they are soft they are mild they're 
good for baby you just need to go through the hair once or twice and make sure there are no knots and the hair is not matting my mom is using johnson baby oil here to put back moisture on baby's skin after his bath so she uses a sponge this is a baby sponge that we got from amazon and we use that with the black soap and after the bath we are putting moisture oil back on baby's skin my mom right now is doing african massage baby massage on baby so you pick up baby's two legs and you raise it against their bum and then you bring back their arm to the back you also bring back their hands to cross in front this massage is so important if you have to put play this place over and over again and maybe slow mo it so that you can get the steps please do the way baby sleeps after this massage i wish i was getting this massage i mean it's amazing um so she she stretches his nose or she massages his nose this helps with flow and you know to prevent cutter or any build up she rubs his chest um she has this mentor that she uses i don't use it i just prefer not to but she has it mentor she always puts on his chest very mild just to help break down any kata or cold that might be forming in the chest again this is in the summer but i feel like african moms are very very particular about the baby catching a cold so they take extra precautions here my mom is combing baby's hair this is a baby comb set i got from the dollar store it's sturdy it is nice it's soft and it just goes through baby's hair with no pain or ache whatsoever after baby's bath we wear him two sets two layers of clothing one onesie and a shirt long sleeve preferably pants obviously after we wear him his diapers and vaseline and then we wear him a beanie depending on how cool or how warm the weather is and when he was a bit younger we we'll always wear him gloves and socks but sometimes when it's hot we just do without the gloves well thank you so much for watching this video if you have any comments questions let me know any steps you want to add let me know have a good day thanks don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like, and share.